Hello, my name is Exabyte, and today I'm going to be showing you how to exceed the normal 64 item stack limit in Minecraft. Now, how this works is pretty simple. We just take this stone or any item, put it in the chest, and then we will run the data command to get all the information. And now, if you see right there, it lists the count. So we can now run a command to modify the count. And now we'll see that it now has two. And we can you know set this to let's say 64. And then that'll be at like the regular limit. And then we could set this to something like 65, which, uh, as you probably know, exceeds the regular stack limit. And if we were to open this up, it still says 64. But then if we were to grab it, then it switches and says 65. And it now uh, shows that it is greater than a regular stack. However, if we place it down, then we will place a stack and then how much we have left over, like this. So if we were to put it back in, and put a larger number like 100 uh, then we will get the same thing it says 64 if you pick it up it says 100 and then if we place it then it says 64 and then however much we have left and there actually there is a limit to this and that limit is 127 so if we type 127 then it'll still work it says 127 it goes like this, and the amount left is almost an entire stack, but not quite. And if we do um, 128, like th this, first you have to put an item in. If we do 128, like this, then it'll just disappear. And I'm, I'm not quite sure why it does this, uh, to be honest. Um, it just has something to do with how it deals with stacks, but apparently it will... It will let you exceed the regular stack limit, you just can't put a full two stacks into one slot. Now on further investigation, I have figured out why this is, and in my mind there are really two questions. Uh, the first one was, why is the maximum 127 and not 255? Now some of you know why those numbers are significant. 255 is the largest number that you can display using an 8-bit value, whereas 127 is the largest number you can display using 7 bits. And 8 bits are very common in computers, but there's actually a name for them, bytes. So 8 bits is a byte, and that's very common, and I couldn't understand why you would use 7 bits instead of 8 bits. And the answer for this is that it is, it's using a byte, it's just a signed byte. Now a signed byte means that the first uh, number or the first one or zero in the byte is not a part of the number. It represents whether the following seven bits are positive or negative. So in a signed byte, it uh, instead of going from zero to two hundred to to one hundred twenty-seven, it goes from negative one hundred twenty-eight to one hundred twenty-seven. And I wasn't really sure why you would even want to use to use a signed byte because they're not going to use the negative numbers but apparently Java only supports signed bytes so because Minecraft was written in Java they had to use signed bytes even though that would be a complete waste of a bit and the other question is why when you pass 127 doesn't it just reset back to zero because that's what it normal because that's what it normally does is usually when you pass the maximum amount allowed in a certain amount of bytes or bits, it will just reset back to zero. And the reason for this is because it does not reset to zero, it resets to negative 128. Which, is, and because it's a negative, Minecraft will just remove any negative numbers causing the item to just disappear. And it is rather fitting that this video ta be talking about uh, bypassing the normal 64 uh, item stack limit, as this is my 65th YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more, then subscribe and click the bell for a new video every Saturday. And I'll see you next time. Bye!